Peel Police providing an update today on the arrest of a man who allegedly sexually assaulted at least three women in the GTA after pretending to be a rideshare driver. And there might be more victims out there. Nama Weingarten joins us now from Peel Police headquarters. Nama, what more can you tell us about this? Yes, Dwight, police are telling us they arrested the 22-year-old suspect just last week. They tell us he was targeting these young women, specifically young South Asian women, in the very early morning hours, just as they were waiting to take their bus to go to school or to go to work. Now, they're telling us over and pretend to be their rideshare driver. They would then get into his vehicle where he would drive them to a secondary location where he sexually assaulted them. Police are telling us that he was charged with multiple counts of sexual assault as well as sexual assault using a weapon and with strangulation. Here's some more of what police had to say about those charges. These were incredibly violent, reprehensible acts perpetrated uh, against our community and the charges, they are, they're shocking, but they are representative of, of what happened. So there's three cases that we know of so far. The first two happened in very quick successions in the morning of November 8th. The first one was a young woman who was heading off to work, waiting for her bus at a bus stop in Brampton when, again, the suspect picked her up, drove her to a secondary location. Then the second incident happened really shortly after that, Dwight, just at 7.40 a.m., police are telling us, when, again, the same thing happened, where he picked up the victim at a bus stop in Brampton, drove her to a secondary location, where he sexually assaulted her. Police are telling us one of these women was driven, uh, driven to a secondary location in Brampton, while the other one was driven all the way to Vaughan. Now, the third incident that we know of actually happened just a week and a half ago, where the exact same scenario rolled out with a woman who was waiting for her bus early in the morning in Brampton. Now, again, these are just three cases that we know about, Dwight, but police are telling us they believe that there are more victims out there, and they're encouraging them to come forward. Based on our investigation, uh, you know, the, the way that the accused was operating, we definitely believe there are other victims and we're concerned that they haven't come forward yet. Now, police are telling us that none of these victims actually called or ordered a ride share, and they were able to connect the three cases together because of the suspect's vehicle, a four-door black sedan, Dwight. What more can you tell us about this suspect, Nama? So police are telling us that this 22-year-old suspect actually came here from India in 2022 on a student visa. He was arrested in London. Police are telling us that he's not going to school there, and it's actually not clear whether he's enrolled in school anywhere. They say that he was in London to meet with his associates. And something just interesting about this case, Dwight, is that police actually recently posted a video in Punjabi to social media alerting the public about sexual assaults in the area. That video started quite a bit of discourse online, people wondering why it was in Punjabi. But again, now we do know that he was targeting South Asian women and police are telling us that all three victims he spoke to in Punjabi. Once again, police are mentioning to the public any other victims out there, anyone who might have more information, they're encouraging them to come forward. Nama Weingarten reporting from Peel Police Headquarters in Mississauga. Thank you, Nama.